Day 23. Would not be Christmas stuff and music without discussing the Nutcracker. So at the turn of the 20th century, the Nutcracker Ballet and Tchaikovsky's music was put together, but it was not a hit until 1954 when it was revamped to be a ballet targeted towards children and family audiences. And it is a staple of um, especially American uh, Christmas traditions. And you, there are multiple stagings of the same ballet work in cities all over the United States. Uh, it's kind of amazing. Dance, uh, you know, ballet is not something that most people go to, but so many people have gone to see the Nutcracker, and that is generally their only ballet experience. Which is too bad, because although the Nutcracker's fine, um, I've seen a couple other ballets that are much more interesting. So if, if the Nutcracker's the only ballet you've seen, you should really go see another show as well. But it's uh, very accessible to families, and it's a lot of fun. So I do have a couple of Christmas memories, because I'm not going to be singing for you today, uh, that have to do with the Nutcracker. So the first one is the one of the songs from Nutcracker was used when I was in high school for a joke, fake air band. So we didn't have real instruments, we had fake one, like we pretended to play on stage as, as kind of a joke during a, an actual battle of the bands. And so my sister and I and our friends dressed up in, in odd Russian hats and coats. And while the real bands were changing, you know, their sets, their instruments backstage, we were in the front of the stage and we did a, a whole routine to one of the dances from the Nutcracker, which involved the can-can and various things. And then we went into an air instrument version of Blood, Sweat, and Tears. But there are vid there's a video, but you can't see it because I can't make it digital. It's impossible, so. Oh well, <laughs> I'm sure all my friends are very happy that we're in it, that it is not going to be seen by the public. But anyway, so that's my the first story of the Nutcracker. The second one is very sweet. My daughter Liliana, when she was a little girl for years, had to dance to the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy before she would go to bed every night. That was her bedtime routine. And then just recently, just a couple days ago, I went to see my little nieces perform in the Nutcracker. One of them was a reindeer pulling a sled and she was the best one. And the other one was a clown. And again, she was right in the center and knew her routine and she smiled and they were great. And I have to say the Berkshire Ballet here was very entertaining. They were very, very good. So we enjoyed it. And I hope you get out to see the Nutcracker because it really is fun. And um, that's it. We have two more days left. I've been having a really good time doing this every day. Didn't know if I would actually get to it, but I have. Uh, so anyway, enjoy Tchaikovsky.